This is the smallest game system I've ever seen in my life. It's called the Game Poke, which stands for uh, Game Pocket, actually. And um, if to get a sense of the scale, I have a pound coin if you're from the UK. Okay, so that's the scale there. Here's a pound coin next to it. Okay, so it's very small. Here's it up to the screen. The screen is about the size of a pound coin, so it's very small. And a better scale would be a Game Boy cartridge. It's just bigger than a Game Boy cartridge. And uh, see, and, uh, like that. Not very big at all. So uh, this is uh, you can turn it on by um, oh, it's very small writing. Um, let's see, I'm gonna have to get this very close up. Um, all right, there's the on-off switch. I have to pull out the tab. It goes on. There you go. I have to say, this screen's actually very clear. It's really small, though. Okay. Oh, God, it's so small. All right. Okay, so the little intro screen loads up. And, um... Yeah, it says uh, 1991. Get a good angle. There you go. All right. There you go. Okay, so now at the game select screen, you can... This is for you up and down for difficulty or the level you want, so you can go on level 4, 5, 6 but what you can do is go on to you press this button to change levels, so this is a racing game this is a uh, whack-a-mole that is this is um, like a kind of uh, I'd say it's a bit like Space Invaders oh that's Frogger, those are the logs whack-a-mole again just a different variant and uh, shooter again. There's a lot of repeats. This is like a weird version where you have to match those blocks. I'm not sure how to play that one. This is Tetris, and there's loads of variants of Tetris, and they're quite good. So let's try it then. 1991. Alright, let's try the first game, which I think is a tank game. Press the SP button to play. Okay, so there's a tank. It's actually oh I died. It's surprisingly responsive actually for for such a small system. So yeah, shoot the tanks. Very crude though, of course, because it's like so small. It's basically like a calculator. So um, let's reset that. Okay, nice. All right, game two, racing. Okay. Buttons are just tiny. Okay, um, yeah, there you go. You can press that, but oh, okay, I wasn't meant to press that apparently. Okay, there you go. You can, uh, yeah, drive. It's a racing game. And these buttons are surprisingly responsive. I mean, for for the size. They're pretty. They're pretty nice. It's not like a D-pad though. It's it's more like a uh, thing. Well, that's ba basically as fun that's, as that's gonna get. So, uh, um, yeah. This one is whack-a-mole. Do whack-a-mole. This one's pretty simple. I'll get a bit closer. There you go. Oops, failed that instantly. Oh, that's nice. All right. It's just so close. All right. Oops, um, I failed again. Alright, try. Try again. Oh, down. Oh my god. What is it with this game? Alright. Okay, right. Um, This one's good. I say good. It's not really. Okay, right. Oh, it's a building one. This is like a building one. What? Okay, I'm very confused by that. Okay, very confused by that. What? Yeah, I'm, I'm very confused with that. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. Alright, Tetris then. We'll do Tetris. I think it's I. 
Yep, I, okay. Here it is, all right, here you go, Tetris. Very, yeah, it's, it's, it's just Tetris, so, you know, we've all heard of Tetris, you know what it's like. It's just like that. Uh, like this. Just Tetris. I'll just, yeah, and you can see the points in the corner there. See the points where my fingernail is up there? And uh, you can just, yeah. So, yeah, it's very small, as you can see, it's just the size of a cartridge, so. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, here you go. So that's the, uh, smallest game system I've ever seen. It's, uh, very tiny. But, and you can put a keychain on it, so. Thank you for watching. You can buy it. I'll put a link for this in the description for the UK buyers. I'm not entirely sure if you can get this in the US, but I would look around. Also, it's a knockoff of the, um, there's keychains you can get of the Game Boy, and they're, like, small. They're, they're about this size, I think. They're called Game & Watch. They've got a, um, watch on them as well, so you can, they've got an alarm clock function, and it's like a, basically, a mini Game Boy Pocket. And uh, Nintendo used to release them, and uh, I think they still do actually. Some places I actually saw one once. I don't. I didn't buy it though, unfortunately. I regret that. But um, you can still get them online for relatively cheap. And um, yeah. And by the way, this cost one pound twenty-five. Very cheap and actually surprisingly good. So I recommend buying it. So yeah. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.